and welcome to this episode of Live Like a Local. I'm your host, Katie, and today we're here at Blue Mountain Resort, where I'm gonna learn how to ski for the first time ever, which should definitely be an adventure. All right, so Nicole, can you tell us a little bit about the mountain here, the number of trails that are available and all that stuff? Absolutely, we do have 39 trails, and we are PA's highest vertical, which is awesome. We have a ton of really great trails for the thrill seekers that love the black diamonds and double diamonds, but we also have some great beginner trails so people like you who are taking their first lesson today can definitely take advantage of that. Okay. You don't have to be afraid. Good, good. <laughs> Besides skiing and snowboarding, you guys have tubing and stuff available as well, right? Yeah, we do have tubing and we actually have um, family tubes, which a lot of other resorts don't have, which is really fun. You can either be a single rider or you can join up with some friends and cool. all go down at once. And once we wrap up on the, on the mountain, are there food options open today that we can check out? Yeah, we actually just revamped our valley, so there's a ton of um, eatery options and some really great food for you to try. Great. We'll definitely check those out. Um, and for some of the more experienced snowboarders and skiers here on site, are there terrain parks available so they can practice some tricks and whatnot? Yeah, we actually have quite a few terrain parks, and our parks crew is awesome. They're always putting in new ramps, new jumps. Thanks, Nicole, for joining us. I think that about wraps it up. We're going to head inside and get suited up with some skis and boots, and we'll see you out on the mountain. Hi. Hi. I'm Sherry. I'm going to be your instructor. Nice to meet you. So we're going to start out on the balance board. We're just going to practice here a little bit. Feeling pretty good? Yeah. And then when we start to ski, when we make turns, we're going to be pushing down on one big toe and then pushing down on the other one. You need to be able to come down and come back up. It's a little tricky to do. Okay, so we practice a little bit of balancing indoors. Uh -huh. So let's head outside and put it in action on our skis, okay? Sounds Get our good. skis and we'll head out to the slopes. Now, Katie, from here you can see all of our trails, or many of them. Right here is our double, those are our double black diamonds, razors, and challenge. We're gonna start over at the beginner hill, which is the valley school hill right over there. Okay, ready? All right, let's start walking. So we're gonna start with just doing some things with just the boots on, and then we're gonna put one ski on, and then we're gonna put both of them on, okay? You know, look at your ski right now. What does it say? Okay, anything else interesting about your ski? No, don't look at it anymore, all right? I'm gonna put my poles out here and I'm gonna lean on the edge of my poles with my hand on top, all right? This is called a bullfighter stance. So my hands are on top and then I'm gonna carefully position myself around with my weight on my poles and I'm going to put my skis tipping towards each other just a little bit. And then I'm going to lift up my poles and go. After a long morning out on the slopes, I have definitely worked up an appetite, so we're going to grab a bite to eat here at the Valley Cafe. Thanks to Sherry, Nicole, and the staff here at Blue Mountain. We'll see you next time.